All right, everybody, how are you? Thank you so much for your encouragement. Uh, I've decided to make a few more videos. Um, it's just been tough getting out and photographing here in New England. There's nothing on the trees, everything's dead. But uh, to inspire myself, I bought a new fisheye lens, which I've never used before, and I was out practicing with it today. Uh, as you can see in front of you, uh, I've also got the newest beta release of Rapid Photo Downloader, uh, which is what I prefer to use to get the photos off of my cards before I import them into um, Darktable. So, um, earlier today I was out shooting with it, my dog, in my kitchen, and one of the things previous versions of rapid photo downloader didn't do was say oh hey I already downloaded these so I already know so you don't have to download them again it's recognized that these have already been downloaded earlier today braid them out and these are the ones that I now have to download so um, so one of the things that I really like about rapid photo downloader uh, is It'll automatically create the folders for you. It'll automatically rename files for you. Um, you can give job codes, which I'll show you in a minute. And then there's the backup option over here. Um, if you pop your card into your laptop or your computer, this will basically allow you to back up to, or you'll be able to download to two separate locations. Um, so to your hard drive on your machine, and if you've got a remote hard drive, either USB or uh, hopefully um, network. I don't have that yet. I really should. But um, So anyhow, destination. I don't do any video, so I don't look at it. But um, just to give you an idea here, if you wanted to create your own... Um, file for, or excuse me, folder format, you go into custom, so this is what I have right now. You can see when it uh, opens, it automatically goes to my photos folder. It will either create or go to the folder with the year, which I've already got existing here. It will go to or create the year and the month, which you can see I've got here. Um, within it, it will go with the image date, month, and day, and then dash job code. Um, so that's what I have as my custom um, subfolder generator. So um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and download these. So like I said, it already knows I downloaded these earlier. I've got a couple more of my kitchen, which is tiny, so that was kind of fun. Um, did some radial blur stuff here, turning the camera. Um, and then I just took a couple pictures of my kid when we got home from school. Anyhow, going to download them. I already created a folder called Fisheye Fun. Um, I've already, already started a job code called Fisheye Fun. I'm going to use this uh, as the job code for this one. I don't know if it'll put it into the same folder or if it'll start a new one. Let's find out. Hit OK. And you can see it has changed the name of the files already. Oh, I haven't, looked, haven't shown you that yet. Uh, as it downloads them. So if I wanted to rename, um, The preset is date and job code. The extension stays lower cast. So basically, that was fine with what I wanted. It's got the date, 2007, March 3rd, dash, whatever job code I put in, fisheye fun. If I'm doing a real estate shoot, it's probably the address. Uh, if I'm at a state park or something. Um, and again, I don't do video, so I don't need that. And today, it's downloaded 40 files. Anyhow. This is the part that was important to me. It automatically, down, it automatically changed the name of every file um, to the job code, which I love. Anyhow, so that is 
Rapid Photo Downloader. It's in beta. I will link to it in the description below where you can get it. I would encourage you to start using this over Darktable for one very simple reason. Uh, it's the photo, it's the file renaming. Um, Darktable doesn't do it, but Darktable does do something that this is lacking, which is tagging. So, I've uh, pulled them off of my card. I'm going to go into Darktable. This is the latest stable uh, Darktable. I don't bother with the builds, with the um, git builds. Just not my thing. Um, so I'm going to import from the existing folder. So if I go into March, excuse me, April, uh, this is the file. The folder that it created. Inside it is all of the files, so it looks like it actually did add. These are all the new ones that I added from this afternoon. Um, and down here, this is what I like. We can apply metadata on import. Um, so you can use presets here if you use the Creative Commons. Um, They've got them all done here. I did for a while. I switched to all rights reserved. I'm not sure why. It just seemed right. Got my name here, publisher. I don't have a publisher. The rights um, was set from here. And then for tags, I did fisheye, comma, home, because I was at my house. Uh, and there's not much else more. But if I was doing a real estate shoot, I'd put in the address, maybe the real estate agent of who's showing the house or the property. Um, if I was on vacation, where I went, if there were family members in the shots, their names. And that will come in handy later um, when you need to search for stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open it on import. Where's my dog. All right. So now I've got all of the newest ones loaded up in here. I was doing something earlier, so let me switch this back to time. So now this is the order in which I took them today. I worked on some of them for the fun of it, but um, as you can see, they're all here. And if I click on image information, you can see the film roll has been named what the folder is. The file has fisheye fun in it. Um, and if we come over here, we can see under tagging. Where did they go? There's supposed to be a top window here. Um, let's do my car. I'm going to left click there. Shift, left click here. There we go. Um, so Darktable's already tagged at a few things. It's brought in the fisheye tag. It's brought in the home tag. I'm going to add car. And this is my new Chevy Volt. So I'm going to type Volt. Now all of these that have been selected now have added car and Volt. So if I go over here to the house, you see it still only has fisheye fun and home. Um, this one of my adorable dog. I'm going to add dog. I'm going to add uh, Dudley. That's his name. Um, anyhow, you probably get the idea. This is how I do my import into Darktable. Um, I start with Rapid Photo Downloader, which allows me to change, create uh, a folder structure, and change the file names. Uh, and then when I import it into Darktable, I can apply tags on import and then go further in on the tagging module in the Lightroom view. Um, that's all I'm going to do for now. Uh, a couple people had requested how I do my import. So there you have it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If uh, there's anything else you want to see me do, let me know. Uh, I should be able to get out and do more photographing now that it's warming up some. Um, and I've got a lot of day trips planned throughout the spring and summer. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching and have yourselves a great day.